Next up, 118 pound bantamweight, six rounds, Jose Balderas against Julio Garcia. A couple of 20 year olds stepping into the ring. Teray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here in San Jacinto, California, as we have six rounds this in the bantamweight division, all brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Your three judges scoring this bout will be Jose Cobian, Lou Moret, and Alejandro Rochin. Your referee in charge when the bell sounds is Ray Corona. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the black trunks, weighing in officially at 117 and three quarter pounds. His record a perfect one, three wins, no losses, fighting out of Madison, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Julio Garcia. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the white trunks, shirt with the gold and red. He weighed in officially at 118 and one half pounds. As a professional, he's also undefeated six wins. One of those coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of Santa Maria, California. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jose. It's good, it's good, this is my instructions. God bless. Mr. Moret. A walk up out, call it a swing fight between these two. Garcia fought just 42 days Red ago. Mark. Previous layoffs were 20 months and 15 months. Ready, ready. So got a couple of knockouts in his three fights. And Balderas from Santa Maria, California. Always what I like to see coming out, establishing the jab. You go from heavies <laughs> yeah. to, to bantamweights. These guys look undernourished. You know, you know Sean. <laughs> they are very the strongest guys, that's for sure. But, Sean, I don't know if you know, both guys are trying to knock the other guy out with that jab. That jab it should be just to find where he's at. You're not, you ain't knocking nobody out with a jab. What do you want, a little pawing out no, there? No, you're not knocking nobody out with it. Both guys are pushing a little yeah. bit with their jab. Okay. Stick it out to find where he's at. Especially, you know. Uh, Garcia's in the black guy. trucks. Yeah. Especially Balderas. Find where he's at and then shoot it. You know, shoot the fire and punches. Jeez, oh man, these guys are trying to knock you out with a jab. They ain't going to happen. Balderas, 6 and 0. Oh. He's in the uh, white with the red and gold. And Garcia, 3 and 0 oh record. And the black trucks. Finding a home for that right hand, so Balderas is trying to jab to the body, and it seems like every time he throws the jab to the body, which is something I've been taught since I was started boxing, uh, Garcia's coming over the top with the right hand. He's trying to the counter his jab to the body with the right hand, and that's the perfect angle for a perfect counter like that. Look, even though even though Bal uh, Balderas is taller by a couple inches, he's got a shorter reach. Yeah, he's 5'7", compared to the 5'5", five, five Garcia. But Garcia's got about a three-inch reach advantage. You know, Sean, when I used to train, you could draw a beat on the guy real quick. It's steady. Jab, one, two, three. Jab, one, you know what I mean? Almost you got to like mix a, it up. You got to mix it it's up. It's almost like your dance steps, That's right? That's it. That's all you get it. <laughs> you notice anything in the footwork early, Ray, between these guys? Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing effective about it. It's, not, it's just... One guy coming in, one the guy backing up. Oh, oh, oh that right leg. There you go. <laughs> now let your punches go. Then why do you back up? Why do you back? Stay right there. Garcia landed one. Ray, you're not in the corner. You're not, you're not the trainer. You're the announcer here. You got to give equal time down to Balderas then. I, 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 this is my first time doing doing commentary with Ray, and I've already learned that Ray. His level is so high that when he doesn't see another guy doing what yeah, he should I be, always I, agree with. He's with, a Hall yeah. of Famer. He's like, yeah, go get him, go get him. <laughs> you know, we, Ray, these guys always, aren't always going to react no, the way you would react. No, Sean, exactly. Sean, you out there. But you know, boxing's not too difficult. Either you come forward or you move him back. <laughs> Throwing punches or you're making a guy miss 
punches. Well, do something. Well, old Boom Boom Man Singh, it's just like a fart. He, he, he broadcasts the same way. High <laughs> high energy, all out. Yeah. Doesn't matter who's in the ring. He yeah. wants to see him go at it. Oh, good yeah. right uh, good right hand. But then again, he didn't counter with nothing else. Three and zero against six and zero. So I, I didn't really know what to expect. But already early on in the fight, I can see that Garcia is really comfortable in the ring, landing a big right hand uh, in near the middle of that that round, and then another right hand at the end of the round as well. He seems very comfortable and confident so far in this fight, Garcia. Yeah, his his knockouts, Sean, were both in the in the first round. Previously, he's yet to fight anybody with a winning record. Well, he is right now, guy in front of him, and he's doing pretty good against him. Both undefeated. As we begin round two. Big part of boxing is is understanding range and distance and also controlling that range and that distance. And, and the way Baderos is going to control it is by using his, his, his long arms and trying to hit Garcia with the end of his shots. Oh, that right from Garcia to the head. Garcia, on the other hand, is, is luring him in, allowing him to come forward. He's closing that distance, and then he's landing the big shots. This is from Balderas. I, I like Garcia using self-defense, bobbing and weaving. Body but shot, a nice Ooh. flurry of punches. But he's too straight up right now, too straight up. Three Garcia. punches, bob and weave underneath. Garcia, right? Garcia's too straight up. Garcia, yes. Yeah. Oh, he, heard you. he heard you. He's trying to dip a little. You know, you know, Sean, one thing about, you know, boxing about experience. Both guys are early in, the, early in their career. But one thing you got to learn, know how to change speeds. Change speed. Not every punch got to be a hard punch. Mix it up. Both of you, everything's hard with these guys right now. Wait, in the, in the, the, the first round, you were talking about both these guys trying to knock each other out with the jab. Balderas landing. And you were saying that they only got one speed. Now you see Balderas starting to change her speeds. He's using misdirection with the jab to the body. And then a, a, a clean, uh, perfect one-two lands for him because he's changing the speed up. See. Garcia being a small guy, he lands the right hand to the body, but he backs up. Lands the right hand to the body, come back to the, little, to the head. St I like to see him step around, do it again. Step around the guy, don't step straight back. Yeah, when you're the shorter guy, you don't want to step back and no. stand straight up. No. It puts you right at the end line of the of shot. Right, in the, line of right in the line of fire where you don't want to be. You can't win right there. No. Usually. <laughs> Usually. Balteris, much more aggressive after sizing up his opponent in round one. He seems to have... Taking the edge here in round two. Garcia looks like he's got a couple tricks up his sleeve, too. <laughs> I'm waiting, on, I'm, I'm waiting on something, yeah. Just the way he's staring? I'm, I'm waiting on something. It's the way he's staring, the way he's pulling back with his hands down. Some, and, and, and just, you know, the tricky movement. Looks like he's got something up his sleeve. Missed from Balderas with a right uppercut. Trying to get to the, right body. to the body. <laughs> Start of round three. Balderas landing 20 punches in the last round. Garcia had landed 18 in both rounds combined. So Balderas winning, at least the way we see it unofficially, round two after it looked like Garcia took the opening round. Sometimes that's all it takes, just picking up the speed on your jab and, and finding your range and your distance. Uppercut from now, now, Balderas. Now, now Balderas did a dangerous thing, throwing an uppercut from way too far out. Yeah, yeah. Left himself open. You better wait till the guy comes into you to throw it up. Body shot from Balderas, pawing, pawing, and gets another body, a couple of body shots in on Garcia. I'm always against a guy using his, head, his arms for defense because it wears you down. Pretty soon you won't be able to hold your arms up. To throw a punch. And yet, in the force of the shot, it's still connecting on you. you know, the, old, the old timers say, Leave the, keep your hands free to punch back. Move your head so you can counter. Yeah, it looks like Garcia's face get marked up a little bit. Right from Balderas. Nothing connecting yet. Not here. Garcia inside that Good left jab. jab. Yep. Good jab. Just a backed up Garcia. There's a body shot for Balderas. He threw it. He threw it. Oh, the right. Oh, Dallas. Garcia to one knee. Garcia. 
Garcia's up at nine. Sprung to his feet. Over here, over here. Ray Corona making sure he's good to go. Big overhand right. Big, big overhand right. And, and I was just about to say, his corner needs to tell him not to be on the end of the shots. His corner needs to stress that to him. He's standing too high, and he's at the end of Adair's shots. That's not where he needs to be. Not only not to be successful, but not to, 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 in order to be safe, he's got to be closer to Badera. Yeah, he's got to move that head. He's standing too straight up. He want to step back. He's too straight up. And to be a literal guy, you can't do that. It's kind of a slip, no knockdown. Very clear from our referee. Calderas has taken over this fight after the opening round. Body shot! Garcia's down for the second time Great body in this shot. round. Great body shot. Oh, that, you could hear that one. So now we got one to the head and we got one to the body. He's taking over. All right, one more time. All right, two knockdowns and up on his feet. Ends the round. At first for Valdera from Santa Maria, California. The overhand right knocks down Garcia. And the nine count, he was up. But before the round ended, Valderas another knockdown of Garcia. Valderas, who landed 28 punches in the third round, including a couple of knockdowns. Sean Porter, Ray Mancini, Chris Myers, we're watching live here in how much fight do you think Garcia has left? Yeah, Garcia is just too high. He's too high, and he's using a high guard. But again, it's the, the, they're, they're, it, you're blocking punches, but you, they're still having an effect on you. Whether it's your face or, or your arms, it's going to wear you down. But you can't, and you can't go straight back. You, you're a little guy. You miss a punch. Step to the side. Step to the side. Always step out of the way of, of, of a guy that comes straight back at you. He landed. Uh, Baderas landed a big overhand right, and he landed a big overhand right because of just what Ray Boom Boom Mancini just said. Yeah. You can't pull straight back. It that puts is. you in line for big punches like that. You see Baldera now using the shoulder to push him back. Now that's a good body. That's a good veteran move. Use the shoulder to push him back. Take that body. Now I like what I see. Yeah, the body shots have been really impressive for Balderas. Landing more punches. And look at there's the amount of body shots landed. 39 to 9 by Balderas. But Garcia showed in the opening round that he can hang. Just those knockdowns. We'll see what impact that has as this pushes. I, I think I gave him the first round, Garcia. But yes, you know, I ever agree. since then, it's been Balderas Balderas. in the corner, they've been able to make some, some changes, stay poised, and then some big shots. He's, he's showing a lot of determination. Come Down on again. again. And this, this, could, it. this could That's be a it. wrap. That's a, it, it, oh, he's it, up it, on it his don't feet. Go past this round. Five. It don't go past Six. this round. Seven. Hey, get it to continue. Why continue? Yes. All right. Hands up. Time. Time. Hey, I, referee asked hey, for time. No, no, no. I call time. Don't hit him when he's down. You hear me? You get disqualified. Okay. All right. Reminding Valderas, don't in. hit him when he's down. You could be disqualified. He's going to let Garcia continue after his third knockdown. You agree with that? Let him go. You know, you know, Chris, this is exactly what we were talking about. He's backing straight up. And he's too stand up. Now he's in the line of fire for Balderas' punches. Even if they're not hard punches, he's in a way in line of fire. He's not showing any opposition. Come on back with it. There it is. There he is again That's it. for the That's fourth it. time, and the referee says it's over. Right after Ray Mancini said it was over. Those were shocking body shots. They were, they were powerful. Yeah, he goes straight down as soon as he gets hit. Those body shots were striking. You could feel him in Ventura County. <laughs> he took the opening round and flipped it around. Jose Valdares, four knockdowns before we got through. That was a good job by Valdares. I think good so job too. By him. You yeah. saw right away an adjustment. Yeah. Dominating the fight after the opening round and knew how to finish off his opponent, Julio Garcia. Jose Valderas stays undefeated. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 18 seconds of the fourth round for your winner by a knockout and still undefeated, Jose.
Jordan Hardy is in the ring with the winner. Uh, Jordan, can you hear me? Go ahead. I can hear you. All right, Jose, congratulations. You're now 7-0. and Go to the body and the head will fall. Was that the game plan? Yes, sir. That, I mean, that was the game plan from the start. It was to stay on my distance, and that's what we did. All right, and you know, this was a good test for you. This guy was resilient, he was throwing punches, he was making you think. What did you learn in this fight? Um, I learned to be more confident in myself. Um, um, I need to have more confident in myself, and you know, everything comes to plan when you are. And you're a young prospect, 7 0. What's left for you the rest of the year? How many more fights do you want to get in? Where do you see yourself? Well, um, I was training with uh, my shoulder was hurt for uh, two, the last two weeks, and you know, I just want to recover for now, and then we're going to go back to the drawing board and see what's next. Well, we hope a speedy recovery for you. We'll see you in the rest of the year. Give it up for Jose de Balderas, 7-0. Second knockout in a row. Chris, back to you.